have to wait to be uh, in the spirit that we can realize that the, the Lord is here in what I'm touching now. And say, well, how do, well, is the Lord and me, uh, is this a daffodil or what is this? Tulip, okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. I apologize. I, I, I know you're a beautiful daffodil. Like, who, look who you're talking no. I'm a tulip. Um, yeah. And then there's something like, a, it's not about that, I, I, you know, it's about I'm admiring how beautiful you are. And there's something in that kind of experience that's heaven on earth. It's like, you know, it's, I think there's something like tulips in heaven. It's like, yeah. Uh, then there's qualities that we call the light and the sound, that as we allow ourselves to be more conscious, that then it can be something where our consciousness is higher and higher, even while we're in the world. And then the way we're relating to the world is more heavenly, and, and that's what we bring to it, because we're also in touch with that nature. But that it is in, in things, and we've been hearing it a lot here from John Rogers' words, you know, look for the good and for the divine in people and things. This is the secret of soul transcendence. Look, like, so see the good in something. See the good in the chaos. Or I lost control again. It's like, well, see the good in that. What's the good in that? It's not good. Watch out. What are you, what are you calling to yourself? And that's like, well, that's my bad habit raising its voice, coming through my reaction. Is that what you want to do now? Who said that? Oh, someone who loves you. <laughs> <laughs>